Hello everybody, Mr. K here with a uh, update about the project. So since I had so many questions about the project, what I decided to do was a tutorial on how to go through and actually complete the project itself. So all students got a paper like this. It is front and back, two separate sheets. And there's part one through part six on the paper. So what we're doing is, folks, for example, I'm going to tear my apart so you can see those sheets. Um, for part one, it gives us information as far as choose your destination, calculate the total gas price for your trip. Possible destinations, it says choose one. So you have Anaheim, California, San Diego, California, Phoenix, Arizona, and Salt Lake City, Utah. It says the current gas, uh, current price of gas is $3.54 per gallon. It says calculate how much money you will spare on gas for your trip. Remember, you need to calculate your trip there and back. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to part one where we got to fill the information out at. So let's say, for example, I'm going to create a new place so no one can copy my answers. Let's say I'm going to Charlotte, North Carolina. And let's say it takes me 13 gallons of gas. Okay. So when I go here, where it says we are deciding to travel to, we put Charlotte, North Carolina. We chose the station because we want to go to Great Wolf Law. All right, it says the cost of gas is at $3.54 per gallon. We need to buy, now this we go back to our original first sheet, and it says it says 13 gallons of gas one way. But I gotta get there and back home. So that means I need to multiply this times two. So in this sense, 13 times two is gonna be 26. So it means in order to get there and home, I need to buy 26 gallons of gas. Therefore, we will pay a total of blank for gas for the entire trip. So now what you're gonna do is, is your students gonna come in this box, whether they do standard, box, or lattice, they're gonna multiply to calculate how much gas is going to cost them for their trip. So in my case, I'm going to do standard method in which we multiply $3.54 times 26. All right, so now we'll go through the process and multiply that. As I teach my kids, when you multiply decimals, the first rule is you get about the decimals, you multiply normal, and you add the decimal at the very end. So I'm going to go over to the side. I'm going to multiply $3, 354 times 26. Now I'm doing a standard form. You can do a standard, lattice, or a uh, box. So go through real quick, do all my work. Come back and add it up. All right, and now the last rule is however many decimals I have in my problem, I need to have that number of decimals behind in my student decimals behind the decimals in my answer. For example, I got one, two numbers behind the decimal in my original problem. That means I need to have two numbers behind the decimal in my answer. So when I go to my decimal point, then I'm going to start from the back. I'm going to have one, two and decimal point goes right here, all right? And just to check my work, you can use a calculator to go behind and check yourself. So that means I spent $92.04 on gas for the trip. So I'm gonna put a 92 there, 
Nice dollars and four cents there. I am then going to flip my page over down to the bottom where it says part six. And for my total, I'm going to put my dollar sign 9204. God spent that much money on gas. So every time I complete a session, I'm going to come to the very back section and put the total cost beside the heading that I spent it on. So my meals, my attraction, my souvenirs, my hotel. All right. And then I want to add everything up. And that's my total price of the trip. All right. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you guys are able to get this done. Uh, remember to use the calculator, check your work. Also, let's show you work in these boxes as we see here. All right. Have a good one.